Hey, what's going on, Vault Hunters? I'm Big Bad Dirty Dog coming to you from the Dog Pound. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, depending on when you are watching this. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. We are back here on Borderlands 3, and today I'm kicking off my new series, Legendary Weapon Guy, where I'm going to go through every legendary weapon in Borderlands 3, starting with the base game and going with the DLC. The only ones I won't be showing are the ones that are in the Arms Race DLC. I can show you where to get those at, but those are extremely hard to farm. So I'm just going to stick with the base game and the DLC ones, because those are going to be the easiest to get. I'm going to go through and kind of talk about them and show you where to farm them at. So with further ado, let's get started. Now we are still in the month of Mayhem, which goes till October 31st at midnight. And I did some videos showing you how you can redeem shift codes to get free weapons. And I'll put the one up for this one up in the right hand corner, as that one is good till tomorrow at midnight. So I figured we'll kick off with like one of my favorites, and probably... In my opinion, anyway, the best shotgun in the game. The Speed Loading Hellwalker. Now, a little bit of info for this. It is a legendary shotgun manufactured by Jacobs. It is obtained randomly from any suitable loot source, but has increased damage to drop from Road Dog located in the Splinterlands on Pandora, which is where I'm at right now. The red text reads, So my demons, your time has come. Which happens to be... Now I forgot. <laughs> Brain fart. Okay, it comes from the lyrics from the Tesla Cat song, Concealing Fate Part 2 Deception. The Hellwalker always spawns with the speed load and prefix. It always spawns in fire incendiary only. It's extremely useful with flax fadeaway and leave no trace skills as every pellet will score a critical hit during fadeaway. It's possible to keep shooting and deal large amounts of damage without reloading when the skill is active. It also works well with Moses Cloud of Lead and some for the road skills, which I have which allow for the Hellwalker to be fired multiple times from a single magazine, massively increasing its damage potential. Anointments that grant bonus damage for the next one or two magazines are not recommended due to the small magazine size. The Hellwalker always has a magazine of two and consumes two ammo per shot. Therefore, using skills, artifacts, or class mods to increase their magazine size by 50% doubles the number of shots needed before reloading. The Hellwalker is a reference to the Super Shotgun from the Doom franchise, particularly the iteration seen in Doom 2016. The musical effects that play when the weapon is picked up and fired are reminiscent of certain notes heard in the Doom 2016 soundtrack, such as those in the BFV division by Mick Gordon. The weapon's muzzle will glow red hot and audibly smolder if the left idle for extended periods, lasts and until it's switched out. Though it can be hard to tell because of the firing sound, the Hellwalker makes no noise while reloading. This gun can be seen by pausing and unpausing the game as soon as the gun is fired, which cuts off the guitar. So with further ado, where do we get one of these at, you ask? Well, we are right here in Pandora at the Splinterlands. And when you spawn in, you're going to come here and spawn in over at Pit Stop. And you're just going to kind of follow my route and go all the way around. So you get right here. It's kind of like a, just kind of like a half a circle. And you want to come to this safe station right here, and then we're gonna go right over here to where Road Dog is. Now, if you need ammo, there is a little ammo machine over here. Come in this little area. Oh yeah, I'm gonna let my uh Yeah. The plasma coil is going to make this a heck of a lot easier. Yeah, make sure you have a pretty decent build. <laughs> and then Road Doggy.
did not drop it for us. But we did get a legendary anyway. We got a double penetrating red line. <laughs> Penetrated. Which is decent enough, but that's not what we've come to get, so. Let's try this again. So we're 0 for 1 right now. But we'll see how many times it's going to take us to get it. I think the drop rate is like around 30%, so we should get it here by a third or fourth time. And as you can tell, I am on the uh, Xbox One, which explains the long loading times. I'm hoping when the uh, next Xbox comes out, the loading times, and for the, when Borderlands 4 comes out, the loading times won't be as bad here on console. Hopefully Gearbox will fix that. Uh, in my opinion, the best shotgun in the game, especially if you build around it. Let me know in the comments below, what is your favorite shotgun? What kind of builds are you running with the, the Hellwalker? Okay, here we go. Round two. Oh, Raisin Storm. There's Road Doggy. Okay, over to you. But we did get a Raisin Storm, which isn't bad. That's a pretty good one. Not what we're uh, come to get. But looks like we got another one. Big Boom Blaster. At least we're getting legendary drops here, so I guess I can't complain too much. I'll definitely be doing a legendary guide for those weapons as well, so fear not. But we'll do maybe two more times. I don't want this to be like a 30 minute video. But yeah, October 31st will be the last day for the month of mayhem. So for those shift code videos, if you are wondering, those shift codes are good until October 31st at midnight. And that's across all Borderlands games because we're giving away free weapons for Borderlands 1, the pre-sequel 2 and 3. The only thing I don't like about playing on console is the long loading times. Okay, here we go. Round three. That'd be good to me, road dog. As you can see, he spawns towards the uh, end of the area. So we're 0 for 3. If we don't get in here, we'll just end the video. But I can promise you that is the dedicated drop. Unless they've changed it. 
but everything I've looked into, he's still the dedicated drop. It is a world drop too, you can get it from other sources too just by playing the game. But Rodog is supposed to be the dedicated drop watch. After this round, if I don't get it, I'll end the video, I'll keep farming, I'll get like on the fifth round, on the fifth try. That's about the way my luck runs anyway. But just out of curiosity, supposedly YouTube has implemented a new feature. I don't know if it's live or not, but like if I say the words, you know, subscribe, that button is supposed to light up, or hit the like button, that button's supposed to light up too, to alert you to hit those buttons. Let me know in the comments if that actually works. I'm just kind of curious. Okay, here we go. Last round. Come on, Gearbox. Be good to me. I'm making a video here. Don't let me down. So yeah, you can just go right to the end of this area. You don't even have to fight these guys if you don't want to. And that's a big fat nope. But just for uh, sheets and giggles. Let's see if any of these other guys give us anything. No success that round. Oh hey, we got another legendary. Not too bad. What are you still shooting for? But anyway, you get the general idea of where you can farm this at. You kind of see it has kind of a funny pattern. But that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for being awesome and watching. And again, I'm trying to make it on the Borderlands 4 creation team. So if you can do me a favor, if you like the content, hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. It helps me out lots. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, stay awesome, stay amazing, stay wonderful, stay fantastic, and as always, stay beautiful.